Tyler Higby had zero targets yesterday. He basically played offensive tackle, 34% route participation, 0% target share. And I warned folks that this could happen specifically because we know exactly what kind of player Tyler Higby is. His average depth of the target is around three yards. That puts him outside the top 90 tight ends. Only like 120 tight ends have actually gotten targets on the season at all. And he's outside the top 90 in terms of route running, right? You look at a guy like Matt Stafford, who's not particularly mobile. If the play breaks down or he's looking for somebody, he he's willing to flip it over to a guy like that, even if it's like, you know, four yards and say, hey, you run with it. If the play breaks down with a guy like Bryce Perkins, he's not going to do that. Like if it's him standing next to Tyler Higby, he has no incentive to flip it over to Tyler Higby. He's just no. going to say, hey, why don't you go block somebody? I'm going to run it. That's exactly what happened here. That was my main concern with Higby, besides the fact that I don't think he's particularly good. He's not super elusive. He doesn't break tackles. So was not excited about Tyler Higby. And then this is what happens. You couldn't trust that guy already. And now you definitely cannot trust that guy. Would you be dropping him? I don't like the idea of just dropping guys and without a plan to pick somebody up. Like, because there's all there's so many different leagues that you know, dynasty, very deep leagues, but I, I would definitely be looking for other options. He's probably not going to be in my top 20 tight ends next week because they didn't even throw him the ball, right? So if Logan Thomas is on the waiver wire, do you prefer Logan Thomas over Tyler Higby? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I'm right there with you. I'd be rolling out some Logan Thomas as well.